It is time now for the Roadie Roundup. We are chatting what else but Mother's Day. So let's meet our mom panel this morning. Kylie McCullough, mom and star of Real Estate Wars. Welcome back. Thank you. Amy Broody, mom and star of Kindred Spirits and Ghost Hunters. Yes. Again, welcome back. <laughs> and another welcome back to Amy Diaz, a mom and, of course, former winner of The Amazing Race. Hello. Now mama too. Right? Yes. Yes, four month old at home. Oh, <laughs> very exciting <laughs> stuff. Yes. So you guys are busy moms, you're working moms, you have a lot going on. Uh, Amy, you've had some experience being on TV, and so we kind of saw you, I guess, as like a TV mom. But that brings up our first topic. Those TV moms that you know and love, those iconic faces and names. Who, who did you love growing up? So I love some of the more recent moms. Mm -hmm. I love Rebecca Pearson on This Is Us. I feel like they're not the iconic moms of... Um, maybe older generation mm -hmm. where they were so perfect, they're flawed, they're more relatable. Um, yeah, I love Rebecca Pearson. I love Claire Dunphy on Modern Family. <laughs> I just yeah. feel like I connect more with those ladies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to go with Carol Brady. She's like the iconic, perfect mom. I mean, I think Alice was kind of more the mom in that house. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. Did. Yeah. But Carol always had that flip, no matter what was happening. So yes. I don't know. She just made it look very easy. Yeah, so. and she was fun to watch. She almost like yeah. made you feel good, right? Like yes. I want to jump in there and be part of the the Brady. Yes, seriously. Alice did everything. Yeah. Really did. Yes. I think I need an Alice. Yes. <laughs> we all need an Alice. I was gonna say Carol too. So you know what? I'll go a different route. Why don't we say Wilma Flintstone? Ooh. She. Always looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll go. We'll go a little cartoon route. Yes. Uh, probably very um, n fictional, I guess you could say, type of uh, mom world, if if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> well, interesting too that you guys were kind of all over the. Um, different time frames yes. as well. Cause, like, I mean, I had definitely um, agree on Betty Draper, though. Yes, <laughs> little Mad Men. <laughs> Pregnant, no cigarette, shotgun. I was say, no, no June Cleavers out no. there, which is, certainly times have changed, that's yes. for sure. All right, moving right along now, a new study shows that 40% of moms who say they love their Mother's Day gift are actually faking it. Be honest, have you ever received a gift and, and had to kind of put on a face? Yeah. I mean, my husband doesn't do a lot of gifts for Mother's Day. Yeah. I like the stuff from the kids. Mm -hmm. I like the more do the dishes, let me sleep in. You got to want to want to do the dishes, make an effort. Um, I like being appreciated, I think, more than gifts on Mother's Day. You have your birthday. We can buy our own things. Mm -hmm. I like the homemade stuff. I, I can't fake it. I mean, I... I <laughs> It is, but I think for me, I'm just so excited. Any, I mean, instant tears anytime I get yeah. anything from my daughter. She's five, mm -hmm. so it's all adorable and pasted together. And you know, you can't really fake that. I just, I love it. So I think when it comes to Mother's Day, I've had one with Maya, so I'm Aww. really excited for my second for with for my second one with with her now that she's two. So I'm sure that she's making something really adorable. But just mm -hmm. as a mother receiving gifts, period, unless they're from your children, I think that there comes a point where you're just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. House, there's already so much in the house. There's already so much in my room. Like, I don't think that there's really anything that we need other than some sleep, yeah, yes. some love, and a hug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe a yes. little appreciation, mm -hmm. but do you feel like as a mom, sometimes you do need to put on a, a face, even if it's for your kids, and you, gifts or not. Like sometimes you need to have that smile. Yeah. And, oh yes, yes. 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 Like if someone took the time out of their day yes. to to do something, to either go out and get something for you or make something for you. So you, yes, you have to appreciate it. I think that we're so tired as moms that get it comes to the point where it's like, oh boy, now I can't really. You're like, oh really? <laughs> 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 When they take yes. the initiative, I think it's more the thought exactly. that goes into it yes. um, and the sentiment rather than the monetary value. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, we plan birthday parties and holidays and we do it all. If someone else takes the initiative and just does something, it's so nice. Yes. That's all it takes is a little initiative mm -hmm. and we're happy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you said appreciation too, but how about sleep? Because another oh. study is revealing that what moms actually want is just a little peace and quiet. They want to yes. go to bed. Yes. Uh, I, I worked nights for so long, like sleep is so valuable to me mm -hmm. that, I mean, if someone just said to me, today just lay in bed all day, that would be dreamy. Oh. I would would you it. go nuts though? Like, no. Were you thinking like I should be running around? <laughs> no, no, you, you need I it. Would be, maybe I'd be on social media or something, I don't know, I'd be in bed, just, it'd be glorious. That would be nice. <laughs> sleep right now with a four-month-old and a yes. two-year-old <laughs> sounds... <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm really lucky. They're both great sleepers, but at the same time, I feel like when you become a mom, your brain is always mm -hmm. going. Any sound that you hear in the house, you think that it's it's there's something happening, and mm -hmm. so um, maybe sleep away from the house. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. There you go. Where, where, or the children are away, and you know that you can just relax. Mm -hmm. That that's very valuable. That would be nice. My kids are older, so I'm good on sleep. But we've planned our own Mother's Day. Yeah, we took yeah. charge this we year. Did. Rather than going to brunch with the families, which is a nightmare with chicken nuggets and all the white carbs and <laughs> spilling things, and it just ends up being, it seems like it's going to be idyllic, and it's an absolute drama nightmare. We're doing brunch on our own. Yes. We made a reservation at the Yacht Club with just mom. <laughs> well, yes, there you go. To just yes. watch the kids for the day. And we're not spilling anything. Yeah. We can look at the other families going, oh. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy that stuff. Yes. Yes. Thank you so no much problem. for sharing your thoughts, and happy Mother's Day. Thank, Thank you. you.